Namaste, Hello, Hola, Salu, Bonjour, whatever you call it as. Take that as a hello from Dr. C.A. Rupal Shah. In this series of videos on management accounting, we are going to discuss about analysis and interpretation of financial statements. In the previous videos, we have learned vertical format of balance sheet and income statement suitable for analysis. So once you are ready with your format, next is tools of analysis. Now various tools of analysis that we are discussing are comparative analysis, common size analysis, trend analysis and ratio analysis. Let's look at each of them one by one. In this video specifically, we will discuss only about comparative analysis. Now what is this comparative analysis? Let me explain you. As the name suggests, we are comparing two things. We have to compare. Now why do we need to compare? Let's take an example. If I tell you that a company has made a profit of 10,000, is it good or bad? Some people will say 10,000, bus itnai, it's not good. But it doesn't make sense to give any judgment whether it is good or bad without comparing. If I say that last year's gross profit was 5,000 and this year is 10,000. Now you can say that yes, 10,000 is good because it has increased. Similarly, this 10,000 could be bad for someone. Like if I compare it with the previous year and previous year profit was 20,000. Now from 20,000, if it has become 10,000, it means it has reduced. It has reduced means it's not good. So exactly whether the performance of the company is good or bad, you can make a correct judgment only when you compare it with your previous year. So let's see how this comparative analysis works. Let me explain you with the help of an example. The first example that we are taking is a balance sheet. In your balance sheet, let's take share capital as the item. Previous year amount of share capital is 1 lakh. Current year's amount is 1 lakh 50,000. Now we need to compare these two and find out what is the increase decrease amount and percentage. How do we do that? Increase decrease amount is equal to current year amount minus previous year amount. So in this case, 150,000 minus 1 lakh, that gives me 50,000. So I can say that share capital has increased by 50,000. Only absolute amount of increase is not enough. Let's also calculate percentage. How do we calculate percentage? Increase or decrease percentage we will have to calculate as increase or decrease amount divided by the previous year amount into 100. In this case, it is 50,000 divided by the 1 lakh into 100 which comes to 50 percent so what i can say is that share capital has increased by 50,000 amount that is 50 percent a quick revision of what the formula is increase decrease amount you will calculate as current year amount minus previous year amount percentage will be calculated as whatever is the increase or decrease amount divided by previous year amount into 100 now this increase or decrease you can either denote it by an upward arrow or plus sign to show that it has increased. If there is a decrease you will show it as minus sign or a downward arrow. Let me explain you with one more example. Example 2 we will take from income statement. Let's take the item as gross profit. Previous year's gross profit let's assume it was 10,000. Current year it has become 20,000. Now we compare and we find out the increase or decrease amount. Let's find out how. Same formula, you remember, increase or decrease amount will be current year amount minus previous year amount. So in this case, 20,000 minus 10,000, which will be equal to 10,000. So the gross profit is increased by 10,000. And percentage, how do we calculate percentage? The increased amount divided by the previous year amount into 100. In this case, 10,000 divided by 10,000 into 100, which is 100%. So the increased percentage in, of gross profit is 100%. I hope you were clear with how do we calculate this comparative analysis. Now this type of analysis of increase decrease amount and increase decrease percentage, you have to do for each and every item of balance sheet and each and every item of income statement. And this will give you an overall picture that what is happening in the company, what profits are increasing, what is happening with the financial position. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please uh, share it with your friends. Thank you. Thank you.